it, it was probably the first time, I guess. Who? Anyways, Razo versus Nitro. <laughs> Razo versus Nitro. We're going to have a... You know, we, this is actually a grand finals that we've seen quite a few times here at Wednesday Night Fights. Razo, in the beginning, was actually had Nitro's number until Nitro was able to overcome uh, the wall of Nairs and Turnups that is Razo. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely had a, an explosive history. I'm really excited to see where this set is going to go tonight. Are and you know what? I, I have complete faith that this is going to be a Game 5 reset. Yeah. Game 5 reset. I'm calling it now. Yeah, I mean, of course, because, you know, they hate us and they want us to be here all night. <laughs> I mean, I've just seen them go Game 5 reset at Wednesday Night Fights so many times. So many times. So many times. But good stuff, Charlie King. I mean, third place at this Wednesday Night Fights. No, nothing to laugh at. This yeah, was I mean, pretty stacked. Yeah, exactly. He fought his best, but in the end, he doesn't live in the right area to make it to Grand, so that's all it comes down to. Wait, so you're... You're only good based off what area you live in? I mean, all I'm saying is that WNF... What about, Wednesday, what about Monday, MSM 1? What about MSM? Well, that's different. It, it doesn't matter for MSM. Oh, so your region WNF. doesn't matter for MSM, but it does for Wednesday Night Fights. I mean, yeah. Interesting. I mean, IE has a pretty solid history of being in Grands here. That's Interesting. All I'm Interesting. Oh, MSM, MSM's volatile. <laughs> oh, MSM's volatile. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for Grand Finals. Nitro versus Razo. Watching Soul Calibur. Oh, really? Yeah. That, Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Because you sure, you sure as hell ain't talking about Nitro and Razo. <laughs> I've been talking about them. You don't like it. <laughs> you don't like to hear the truth, man. What's the truth? The truth is that IE's broken, man. No, no. I think I think Nitro and Razo are broken. Like, I'm not going to disagree with you, but I'm, not, I'm saying that's not it. I'm saying that Nitro, Razo, I'm hip. They put the rest of the region in a backpack and say, Cyro, bro. Say, get on. Cyro, Meteor, got fifth today. Okay, yeah, I can't forget Cyro. Cyro's pretty good. All right, well. Loon Ray, can't, whenever he does come out to, like, MSM and stuff, he does good. Who? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Nitro and Razo. And, ooh, those are those Nair combos we were, talking, we, we were uh, watching a little bit earlier in the night. Oh, and those, is Nitro dead? He's he is dead. dead, yes. He got clipped by a down air and then followed up by a back air from Razo. There was no there was nothing he could do to make it back. Yeah, no, he was just gone. Now did did Razo make some some type of adjustment? Uh, was there some training period he had against Belmont? Because I remember these sets going quite back and forth. And so, right now, uh, he's he so is definitely comboing him to death. Remember earlier when I mentioned that Toski uh, was one of the people that frequents Razo's training fest? Yes. Nitro's another one of them. Yeah, but it, that's kind of like when Nitro started to learn the matchups and started to you know, win a yeah. lot more. Exactly, but I mean, he has all this Belmont practice from probably one of the best Belmonts out there right now. So, you know, it's not surprising that he's learned the matchup very well. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Though I'm not expecting this to be a blow in any sense because, of course, all that matchup practice that Razo has, Nitro has the same amount in reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Nair does connect. Good parry from the platform. So that Holy Cross uh, actually allowed Razo to trade. Oh, and he counters the holy water. Mm, expecting a runoff from the platform, which is a a pretty good read from, from Nitro. That's what a uh, majority of players oh would no. do. But getting sniped with a turn up. It's over. I mean, Razo's gotten so many snipes today. Now, Razo looking real scary. You know, he, he says, for the people, I'm going to make this one quick. I don't want to be here all night. And he's allowing 
Nitro to go to Battlefield. Which tells me that Carlos has been banned. Yeah. Alright, well, game two on Battlefield. Now, the platforms will allow Nitro to set up underneath, uh, which can make it a little bit more difficult to approach from the air. But Peach having that horizontal uh, float can nullify that. Alright, so now Nitro uh, just finding the forward air into another forward air, looking for the jab afterwards. And Razo able to get in his face a little bit, but only to get swatted away by Nitro. Air dodging past the water. And landing another dash attack, but what was that? The down air poking through the uh, Smashville platform. Oh, right, there. There's the Holy Water F Smash. Chasing Nitro off stage and even interrupting the tether. Seems like uh, Razo's so adept to uh, gimping Nitro's recovery, he just needs to get him off stage a couple times. And what a call out on him pulling a turn up right there. Nitro just run up, running up and forward smashing him, saying, you are not safe at that range mm -hmm. against my character. Against any other character, go ahead, but not against me. Hey, going off stage once again to try and interrupt the, the tether pathing. What a punish! Again, Razo just playing out of range. He thinks he can throw things out, and Nitro telling him, yeah. Yeah, but rolling past the holy water and the cross. Well, only to get back aired again. Seems to, uh, Razo seems to have a lot of trouble getting off the right side of the stage. Wow, forward air was enough to take a stock. Air trips Nitro, but not gonna really do much. And now Nitro actually does have a lead. Like you were saying, it wouldn't be surprising to see a game five reset. These two players do go very back and forth. Mm -hmm. It seems very dependent on the stage that they go to. That's true. And it seems like uh, this stage is definitely working in Nitro's favor. Yeah, great stall on the recovery. Oh. Like a, also without a jump, that's a two sock for Nitro. Yeah, he expended his second jump after the after the tech, but I don't know. He just wasn't ready to input the the parasol. Yeah, it was definitely. He didn't air weird. dodge or anything. It was weird. So if it really comes down to counter pick wars, then the first game is super important because that yeah. could determine who has the. So essentially, the rhythm of, of counter picks is going to happen. Yeah, and it is in favor of Razo. He did take that game one, so, you know, he will have the counter pick on games three and five. Yeah, if it, if it continues the pattern. Full prediction, I admit, it likely will get the way the set has gone and the previous sets before. But hey, you know what? Maybe Razor or Nitro just decides I'm just going to start playing really good and I'm just going to start winning all of it. Hey, well, we're back on Town and City, which is where uh, Razor got his first win of the set. And uh, pretty convincingly as well. I believe that Razo two stocked Nitro. Yeah. And just as Nitro two stocked Razo in game two. Now, I like the use of the water. Uh, on the platforms where you can like just have uh, Belmont, the Richter's body be like halfway through the platform and then throw the holy water and it'll explode on the platform. Yeah, that's a really uh, cool setup that Nitro has. Great toad, toad use right there from Lazo. Do his best to punish Nitro for using the range that he has. Mm -hmm. Alright, tethering back to the stage and charging that S-Mash but Raza's gonna weave around it. I'll be out of shield to punish the unspaced, misspaced forward air. Now throw to the back air. Now here's the edge guard. No great recovery there from Nitro. Stalled out, dodged the turret, and then was able to survive. Mm -hmm. Peach Bomber can allow him to go over the F tilt, but Nitro is the one who picks up the first stock with the forward air. Okay, up B out of shield again. We see a down throw, but. Just a little bit too much rage to be able to follow up. 
Oh, the bomb? No, not gonna find it. Just throw it away. Holy Cross does connect. Now we see more projectile setups coming from Nitro. Nitro with the game attack. He's looking super solid here against Razo. You know, maybe, maybe we're wrong, but this is looking very in favor of him. Razo having a hard time taking this stock away from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nitro is really good about setting up traps uh, on these platforms. He's always facing the axes, so it covers the side platforms, a majority of the side platforms. And of course, we we know just how good he is at ledge trapping. Yeah, it's very difficult to get off the ledge against Belmont, especially them at the caliber of Nitro. You can see there's the axe, the holy water, holy water connects, and that's going to be an S smash. We see, we find Nitro up a full stock over Razo. Oh, but it could all change here. No, great recovery there with the uppy. I like that we're seeing the uppy come out more from Nitro and not so much uh, the chain recovery. Mm -hmm. Okay, back down throw into a nair and going really far off stage, but not able to stop Nitro from recovering. Down tilt's gonna connect for Nitro and being able to spot dodge that. Very, very important back air. Yeah, already Nitro has Razo at 108%. This is looking like another two stock for Nitro. Mm -hmm. Nitro had the setup for, for an up air, but whoa, was that tether? Wow, he just zipped right to the ledge. Way up, he just calls out Razo's jump. The down smash is going to whiff, but still Razo in a... Not out of the danger zone yet. Razo is trying to find this stock. He is able to take it, and this will be our first single stock game of this set. Over there, going to connect. Oh, oh, he caught, but he still has access to his jump and going to zip right back to the ledge. And that was so scary for Nitro right there. It, was in danger of dying at literally 0%. The photo throw, not gonna do it quite yet. He's looking to snipe him out with the axe. Yeah, very difficult to weave around as uh, Nitro was adjusting the space of the, the axes to make it go off, off screen, uh, make it difficult to recover with. But Nitro able to clean up game three, and now he's up 2-1. Yeah, I mean, this is starting to look Really bad for Razo. He does have another set, even if he drops this. I honestly, if I'm Razo, I'm just taking as much information in as I can. That's a good. That's a good idea to have. But we're running right back to Town and City. Town and City has been uh, the main choice for this set. The stage choice. All I'm saying. Peach doesn't work, and Nitro wins the set. I want to see Daisy. Pretty, I don't know. I haven't seen Razo play Daisy in a very long time. It feels like a very long time, at least. Ooh, gets the trip from the back air, and now it's time for big damage from Razo. Already 46, 58%. He's floating in that space to try and punish the tether recovery. Mm -hmm. Back air going to whiff, but the forward air does connect for Nitro. Oh, I like the spacing from the, or the retreat from Nitro making Razo miss space the Peach Bomber. Wow, no respect for Toad. Yeah, back air just gonna go straight through it. Wow, what is this barrage of whips? Yeah, it's it's at a point where it's not hitting Razo, but it's stopping Razo from moving at all, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah, but Razo does have the percent lead. He continues to keep knocking Nitro off stage. Oh, dropping just a... He expected uh, for, for Nitro to swing down with his tether, but instead he just zipped right to the ledge. I am actually kind of shocked that we saw the down throw there at 140. Back throw going to force Nitro off stage. That's kind of what I was expecting more. 
Ooh, it's almost sniping him from the air. Ooh, I... These Peach Bombers are kind of scary because if he forces himself into Nitro's face but he doesn't actually connect with him, he's in danger of getting hit with a hole in the water. Mm -hmm. And just like that, Stocks evened up. Get all that rage gone from both players. Forward air connects for Nitro. Good at B out of shield. Now Nitro is keep continuing to play the keep away game. Oh, I like good drip back yeah. from Razo. Avoiding the up oh. and able to get a punish. And the bear actually caught Nitro at the ledge. I didn't realize it could reach that low. Yeah, it has a really big swing. All right, down the throw. Razo getting his damage. Nitro trying to fight down with the down air, but not going to have it connect. 73% down air actually has the chance for the up but it doesn't connect. Or he doesn't go for it. Mm -hmm. And we see an axe just clashing with turnips in the air. And we're going to see another up B out of shield. Razo forced to recover low, retreating back to the platform to avoid the holy water. Dash attack connects onto Nitro. The back of the up B, not going to kill, still back though. Gets Razo off stage, uh, Nitro off stage, and the Nair no tech. Razo, one game away from ending this. That's right. We go to game five. Will Nitro continue to repeat history and reset the bracket? Or will Razo take the set 3 2? Well, I mean, that game did look very solid for Razo again. You know, we expected to see it very back and forth, not quite in the order we went with. But now it's Nitro's counterpick. I mean, it's gonna be, he's going to have the advantage. Uh, I'm expecting Battlefield if Carlos wasn't banned. He's also been known to go to Town and City because of the Carlos? because of the platform layout and hey being guys. able to cover it with axes. I hope you guys are ready for another five games. <laughs> we got Carlos Pokemon League on this game number five. Nitro's go-to stage. That's right. I get. I need to actually sit down and like figure out the win rate for this stage. I'm pretty sure it's like over 70%. Yeah, definitely does well on this stage. And it's just the, the fact that the, the platforms are stationary and they're in a position where you can actually cover the uh, platform and the ledge at the same time. Yeah, it's a very good stage for the zoners. So as you can see, like Nitro already going, starting off with a good, uh, good start. I think the other thing is it gives Nitro another place to go aside from the ledge while still, you know, being in that same position. Mm -hmm. Makes his high recovery just a little bit safer. That's right, but grabbing Nitro right out of the dash animation, putting a little bit of damage on him. 73%. Ooh, good turn up into down tilt, but not able to convert much more. But though he catches the holy water, the first stock, Razo pulling ahead. That's right. Uh, one thing about about this stage that might work in Razo's favor is that if Nitro does in fact force to recover low, his uh his recovery becomes a little bit more linear, which allows Nitro to set up or Razo to set up uh, those gimps. Yeah, Razo do his best to play safe right now. He doesn't want the reset. He just wants to go home at this point. Forward air is looking to do it. I like the use of the peach bomber, but it's not going to connect. No punish on the down smash. That's right. He went really far off with that peach bomber, too. And 102%. Ooh. Gotta be careful at the ledge. Rolling past the holy water and getting a down smash. Oh, trying to clip with the down air, but he doesn't find it. Nitro finds himself off stage once again by escaping the ledge with the down tilts. Dash dancing around and gets a down throw. Really looking for the set card right now. Nitro in danger of being down two whole stock. That Nair not sending in the correct direction, I feel, for, for Razo. That's right. Now we see the turn up. Oh, we got the directional air dodge. But interesting that Razo wasn't able to uh, get the punish. 
feet of the footer. Dash attack should be an easy forward throw from Razo. And throwing out turn up and spacing, pulling back, drifting back the, the upbeat just a little bit to avoid the turn up. Ooh. Oh wow, and the cross actually coming back and flanking, so it cancels out the lag of Razo's down smash. That's right, that actually worked out in Razo's favor. Kept him alive just for a few more seconds, but he wasn't able to capitalize. But he does land a forward air, and now Razo is one stock away from winning Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah, that was a great short poke forward air. He's just sitting a full stock ahead right now, 0-0, zero to zero, and he gets the first hit on Nitro's last stock. That's right, he only netted him 6%, but... Uh, you know, we take those. Er, er, those things add up. That percent adds up for sure. Yeah, and a uh, uh, character that can lose his stock so early, any percent is good percent. Mm -hmm. Oh, back air connects for Nitro. Now Razo finds himself off stage. Oh, and he's moving in and out of Nitro's hitboxes now. He's starting to really run away with this. Grabbing, no, actually, bit of a delay. Nitro is able to spot dodge. Mm -hmm. And a pivot grab is going to allow Nitro to re to set up on these ledges. Both players throwing out forward airs, but stalling with the Peach Bomber. Razo looking for his, his opening. And he actually carried the Holy Water too. He is just starting to, you know, assert dominance, it feels like. But as I say that, you know, you know never mind. With great forward smash there for, uh, for Nitro. Oh, directional air dodge to avoid the up smash. Gets back thrown again. Nitro setting up the traps once more. He's going to be able to avoid the holy water. He peach bombs over the F tilt and stalls out the holy water. But avoiding the holy water once again with peach bomber. And a oh, forward throw connects. What? what? <laughs> he hit it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's actually. What was that? I think that's the second or third time I've seen Raza win. With a, a set that wasn't close. Yes, with that exact hit, like animation, uh, and that spacing, because it starts uh, like it starts almost behind, behind her. her. It's it's almost like Cloud's Nair, yeah. where it starts behind her because she she's like up. taking off the helm, or she's taking off the crown, and she just like even though it looks like they're nowhere near the crown during the animation, the uh, they still get hit and, and lose. But yeah. congratulations, Razo, you yeah. won Wednesday night fights. Good stuff for him. You yeah, know? good stuff. Uh, coming out real strong. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So, 